Hello everybody, it is your Wolfie King Wolfku, that's right. I am here for another installment of Smash or Pass the Game, where we visit the world of the lovely waifus from different universes, and we wait for uh, oh, Hold on, hold on, time out, time out. What? I was told I was going to be working with the Muffin King Abridged Goku. I was told nothing about a wolf or a or wolf coup or anything. Or I, I I don't know if I can deal with associate with fairies. Why don't you shut your mouth and let me finish my intro? You know, it's it's really rude to interrupt somebody when they're doing the intro. Didn't your mama ever teach you how to be respectful? I didn't have a mother, but anyways, fine, go ahead. Neither did I, but you, it is me. I'm just in my wolf form and, you know, 21 won't let me out of it, so just deal with it. Okay, okay, sheesh. Anywhoosies, we are here with a special guest. You know him. I hate him. We have Rosie Goku Black. But if you hate me, why did you ask me to come on? Because the fans wanted it. Oh, fair enough then. Well, then again, I guess the hate's kind of warranted. I did kind of murder you in what timeline. <laughs> Good times. At least I didn't get killed by a kid with daddy issues. But anywho, <clears throat> Just about every kid in this series has daddy issues. I don't have daddy issues. Because you can't remember your daddy! And for that, I'm grateful. You see how good my life is because of it. I feel like this is going to send the wrong message to the audience. Probably, but not my problems. Anyway, let's jump into this. We'll be jumping into the world of Mario. It, really? The little red Italian plumber dude? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he got some he got some hot ladies in that universe. You got to admit. Uh, okay, let's see how this goes. Uh, all right, I'll roll with it. I'll fox with you. All right. F fox with you? Really? Uh, Look at Rosé try to sound ghetto, try to speak that jive. What the hell is ghetto? It's just something I heard mortals using, so I figured, you know, gotta use the common lingo. Oh, my God. He tries, guys. He tries. But let's jump into this. Here we go. First up, we have a, a very, a very slutty, sensual version of Peach. Oh my. Hmm. Why, why isn't this Peach in the game? Yeah, no kidding, but I do have a quick question. Um, okay, so this is Smash or Pass. Um, do we, are we required to save her before smashing her? Because I'm not really sure if I have the patience to jump through eight different worlds. Why would you jump though? Like you're 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 a universe buster, so you could easily just. Well, no, I'm just doing this under the presumption like we're gonna be nerfed or something, and just have them. Oh. Uh, you know. You know what really grinds my gears about that? They had ample opportunity. I think Dashy said this best. There are times where like they just stop and they take that dramatic pause, and Peach can literally either jump into Mario's arms or Mario can get her. But no, they they take that dramatic pause and then either Baby Bowser or one of Bowser's minions steals her. It's like. Just take her! Well, let's be honest, Peach is not the sharpest tool in the bed in the shed. I wish it was this version of Peach. Yeah, but But if you but to answer your question, it's under the presumption that there is no saving. No, we're just strictly smashing or passing. Okay, in that case, um I'll probably smash for a night, get my cake, and then get out before she gets kidnapped. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm definitely smash this version of Peach, I <laughs> I can't bring myself to go against. I mean that lollipop though. I like to put that lollipop. I mean, because here's dinky, the thing. I'd love to what? She must make some really damn good cake if Mario's still willing to save her, because that's always his reward. She always bakes him a cake. They must be pretty damn good cakes if he's still saving her after 40 years. I mean, them cakes are probably behind her, so, you know, the cake gotta be good if you catch my drift, uh, but yeah. Oh my. I mean, it has to be really good cake. Uh, right. Anyway, so I think we're both agreement we the uh, it'd be a one-night smash. Oh yeah, one night. Well, it wouldn't be a one-night smash for me. I'd, I'd probably smash this every night. I mean, that that's a rockin' body. You can't just well, smash that once. You gotta have it a little bit more. Well, no, you, you'd smash it once, but then she'd be kidnapped the next day. Well, I, the thing is, I wouldn't let her be kidnapped. Like, I, I give her a reason not to want to go back to work or or go out and hang out with uh, people, so... I mean, she ain't going nowhere. She's staying in the bed with me. I mean, granted, Peach is pretty kinky. I mean, one of her attacks in Smash Brothers is she literally thrusts her ass at her opponents. That's kinky. Yeah, very much so, so... All right, so both smashing. Okay, then, yes. All right, next up, Princess Peach's clone? No, it's Daisy. It, it looks like a color-swapped Peach. No, it's Daisy. How do you not know about Daisy? I'm sorry, she just must not be very relevant. Actually, she's very relevant, actually. Maybe in the party games and the side games, but you don't really- No, she's very relevant. You don't see her appear in the main- What? I'm disappointed at you. I'm just saying, she doesn't really appear in, like, the main wow, adventure. Wow, Rosé's a really crappy character when it comes to females. Rosé is sexist! I said it what? before! He's don't sexist! You don't you twist my words! Rosé is sexist, everybody! Hashtag I am sexist Rosé. But yes, this is 
Princess Daisy. I know about her. I, I like Princess Daisy. She's like probably one of the best characters right after. Um, and she is looking, as my, in my opinion, <laughs> mooly, mooly nice. I love the look. She looks, you know, very delicious. I, I'm surprised you don't call Rosalina the, the, the swap, because any, if anything, Rosalina looks more like a swap of Peach than Daisy does. Well, you know, Daisy originally was just a color. You know, it was it was the same with Luigi, if we're being honest. Like, Luigi and Daisy were originally well, just... Well, basically, they, these are better versions of the characters. Gotcha. But yeah, um, when it comes to Daisy, yeah, I'd smash. I mean, hell, they gave her that same... Oh, oh, no doubt. I would smash all that. Oh, I, might. I mean, she doesn't get kidnapped as often. Does she even get kidnapped at all, I wonder? She's not stupid. When I look at her, my primal instincts just want to come on. Yes, because you are so good at controlling your primal instincts. Better than you. Excuse you! You didn't even know how to handle my body. I can handle my body perfectly. The ladies love it. And Daisy... You will get to feel every piece of my primal ability. Stop grinding your crotch against the monitor! Control, man! Control! I'm not grinding my crotch, that is fake news. If anything, you grinding your crotch, Mr. Pink Hair. Uh, what the hell is wrong with pink hair? You got a problem with pink? Nothing wrong with pink, it's just on you using my body. You see, you committed body theft? And then you use it to dye your hair pink, and I don't agree with that. I so did not dye it. This is you natural. You forced a color I don't like on my body. First of all, I didn't dye it. This was natural. Ew, and no, it wasn't, because it's my body. Well, it's my body now, and you're going to have to deal with it. And let's get on to the next one. Rosalina. Ooh, that is a definite smash. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You're, you're, okay, you're okay with calling Daisy the pilot swap, but you're not... You disappoint me. Hey, Rosalina Rosalina has some rather nice uh, assets and features. <laughs> Something's wrong with you? You disgust me? I'm a sucker for that whole, like, I don't know. I find it sexy when girls have the hair covering the one eye. Don't get me wrong. I, I like Rosalina. I'm not. Especially, I like her in Super Mario Logan, too. If you ever watch that show. Mm -hmm. Super Mar Shout out to Super Mario. I, I enjoy Rosalina. She, she, I will admit she is very pretty. Wait, that show where they're playing with plushies? Seriously? Yeah, we should do that. Make a plushy show where I kick your ass all the time. I'd kick your ass. I would. You wouldn't do no such thing. You've never actually defeated me. That was Trunks. You're irrelevant. And have you not watched Heroes? I outclassed you in every way. Heroes isn't canon. Not even remotely. Heroes was made by Toei. So it doesn't matter what you think. It's still a Dragon Ball product. And in that product, it clearly shows I'm better than you. Nobody likes Heroes. Uh, the Japanese fans do. And the Japanese fans are all that matters. Uh, well, damn. You, you just got burned, America. Are you going to take that from this guy? Oh, no, I love America, but America, the fact that you're, you're you're actually saying something's canon, which that's not even something Toei even recognize. They don't recognize the fandom when they say canon. It's just it either is Dragon Ball or it's not. That's how Toei operates. Okay, well, anyways, so we both agree we'd smash Rosalina. We'd stick it into our galaxy hole or black hole or whatever. What? Well, you got to be so vulgar about it, but to put it lightly, yes, we would smash. Definitely. Not to mention, I mean, at the end of Super Mario Galaxy 1, she becomes like a giant or something? That was kind of... <laughs> oh god, he has a giant fetish. He probably wants to be shoved up there, doesn't he? Uh, no! No, not like that, you freak! Anyway, um... <laughs> I mean, I, I get it. You have a kink. I get it. You like to be shoved up giant hoo I get uh, it. No, but now I'm starting to wonder what you and 21 do. Now, let, now let's now let's move on. Any Uh, next up... <laughs> oh, this is a... This is a character I like. I, I actually liked her in, um... What was the game called? Super Mario Odyssey? Yes, that is correct. Yeah, I, I like her. She's really cool. What, was it Was it, Paul, was it Pauline? Yes, that's her name. Pauline. You can't even remember. Yes, her name was Pauline. I liked her. Yeah, I, I, I like Pauline. I thought she was a fun addition. She wasn't getting kidnapped and all this stuff. She was just cool. I liked her. Yeah, why did her and Mario ever break up? Oh, no! Mario must have been fudging up. Well, then again, I guess you could argue it's a big step up, because at the end of the day, Pauline's a mayor, Peach is a princess. Like, you know, which one would be the better? But which is more advantageous at the end of the day? She doesn't get kidnapped. She's, she's talented. Peach, all she does is get kidnapped. All she causes problems for Mario. Is it really a step up when you think about it? Well, Mario probably didn't know that at the time, but now he's made the bed, so now he has to lie in it. But it's been four years at this point. Again, though, Mario's probably just like, he made his choice, and now he's got to stick with it. Well, I don't know. I'm smashing. Either way, I'm smashing this lady. I like her. She, I'm smashing. Uh, I'm a little iffy on this one, I admit. I, I don't know. Just, uh, eh, why not? I suppose a good smash would be fun. 
As long as she doesn't invite Donkey Kong, then shit gets weird. Donkey bitch, donkey bitch. No. Donkey bitch is not allowed. Did you did you really just steal a dashy quote? I like dashy. What can I say? And he's not wrong, is he? Hey, what's wrong with Donkey? Can't Don stand Donkey. Hey, what's wrong with Donkey Kong? Because Donkey just think he comes around and owns the place. Him and Diddy. Well, Diddy, Diddy's not bad. I I, I don't, I'm not going to get Diddy. But Donkey's bitch ass. I, every time I play Mario Kart. Ugh. Ain't nothing wrong with no Donkey Kong, okay? He's a, a sophisticated, successful gorilla. Play Mario Kart and tell me how you feel after that. Please play Mario Kart or Mario Party and tell me how you feel about Donkey after. Because you know what? You know what's crazy? I like Donkey going in like to Mario Kart and Mario Party, but after it, I hated him. I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand that bitch. Uh-huh. Anyways, next up would be... Okay, I know for sure Toadette does not look like that. She is not that thick. Um, Toadette, huh? I mean, she's thick. I mean, you gotta give her props. She, she's probably been working out, and, you know, you gotta give her her props. You know, you gotta give her props in that regard. Toadette wishes she looked that good. Look, would you? are you smashing or not? Um, I don't know. Are you? Um, well, I, I will give her credit. I, I do give her credit. She, she's thick, you know? I, I, I gotta give her credit, but she's not really my type. So, pass? Um... Is she allowed to put on that crown that transforms her into Peach yet? No. Strictly Toadette. Uh... Okay. This version, though. Not, like, the actual game version where she's just... Yeah, this version of her. I suppose I could smash this version. Wow! Rose smashing mushrooms! I got it! Wow! Shut your bitch ass up and let's just move to the next one! <laughs> Rose has a thing for mushrooms, guys! D don't make it weird, okay? I bet he shoves it up his clown hole. That's probably his fetish. Uh, no! No, that is disgusting. Moving You're on. disgusting. And Moving on. Next up, we have booze. At whoa. Okay, now we're just going into straight up fanfic territory. Hey, they're acknowledged by the fan. We have to give them their props. So yeah, booze. At. Plus that tongue action though. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm smashing that. Like in. I'm, sm I'm, I'm definitely smashing booze. At. That, that uh, it's the tongue. I don't know. It's something about the tongue. But before smashing, like, you know, get some duct tape because that crown is staying on. I'm oh, that thing's not never coming off. That thing is getting super glued. I have seen way too many parodies where the crown comes off and then things just get weird. It didn't work out so well when the crown came off on Bowser, did it? <laughs> How was that, by the way? I'm going to murder you. I'm going to murder you slowly and surely. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, it's not like I orchestrated that to come off and I told Bowser to take that off at the very moment when you were trying to get it in. I never do that i will see to it that every atom is i will see to it that your every atom is incinerated i would never do that to you rose buddy i would never do that to you okay anyways on to the last one all right on to the last one we have ironically <laughs> ironically <sighs> your girl herself bowsette the lovely bowsette and i gotta say with the crown on she is She's probably the hottest character in all of Mario. By the way, quick question. Um, shouldn't the, technically the name be Peach Bowser? No. Because it's Bowser turning into Peach, like... No, no, no. It, Bowsette is... Why, why you gotta ruin things? Just accept it. I'm not! I was just... I'm just saying. Look at that body! Y yeah, no, that is a very... L l l l l this is what I wish Peach could be. That's what make Bell's head good. This is the, this is what you wish Peach could be, and quite frankly, she deserves to be a canon you know, character. Her popularity exploded, and, and I, I just I I don't see why Nintendo don't jump all over this. I just want to know who the hell initially came up with this idea. Who saw the crown turning Toadette into Peach and thought we should do that with Bowser? Who thought of that? Whoever it is, we thank. You. Should we though? Should we really? Are, are you still salty about the whole Bowsette thing? I don't want to talk about it. You sure? Well, I got a couch there if you want to, you know, talk about it. I mean, I got time. Why are the stains on that couch? Ugh, Sarpon. He was, uh, he, he asked. Ugh. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find another couch. The, it, I guarantee that won't be clean. I Look, when you, when I, when you live with a place with Cell, Zarbon, Fred Fred Burger, Irwin, and Herbert, and all those guys, you have to learn to put up with them. It, it, it's an ongoing process that I have to deal with. Okay, okay, we're getting off topic. Do you want to smash a pass, Bowsette? With the crown on? Hell yes. It is a big smash. It is a United States of Smash. Did you really just make a My Hero Academia reference? Shout out to all my uh, My Hero Academia fans out there. Have you actually done a smash or pass My Hero Academia? Yeah, I've done it. Yeah, it's on the channel. 
Oh, okay then. But anyways, yes, the crown stays on at all costs. And yeah, I'd smash. I mean, Rosé would personally prefer it if the crown came off. That's just his fetish, but... Shut up! That is not... Don't lie to the people! <laughs> That's not... Guys, be sure to go check out his video with uh, his Would You Rather with Bowser. Trust me, you'll love the ending. It's amazing! I hate you. Don't you share that link in the description below. And you've already done it. I already did it. Yep. Feel every piece. Go check it out. And that is all the waifus. This was actually pretty darn fun. I hate you so much right now. I love the torture. It, 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 Sometimes it fuels me. But as you said, the pain will make you stronger, Rosé. Uh, yeah, well, we'll see Search about Search your feelings, Rosé. You know it is true, gay Jedi. Uh... Well, guys, that's the video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and be sure to go check out the slut on his channel. He makes boring content. Hey! But, uh, yeah, this was great. We finally did Smash Up Has Part 3, the Slit Edition Part 3. So you know what to do. Is there anything you want to say? Well, wait a minute. If this is episode if this is episode 3, wouldn't the correct term be, like, Revenge of the Slut or something like that? Uh, wait a minute. Don't. J j no, 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 no. Ah, Revenge of the Slut. I'll be sure to add it. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, anyways, come to my divine. It wasn't really much of a revenge. <laughs> oh, fuck right off. Anyways, come to my channel. I'm the best. You all know me. You all know love me. I'm the divine being of all the cosmos, beauty and grace. And uh, I'm going to stab this fucker in the face. You're not stabbing nothing. Don't make me call Bowsette. I am going to end you slowly. You know what? Why don't you sit there? Hold on. I'm going to call Bowsette. That's it, come here! No! Get off of me! Like, come here, get off of me! Get off of me! my blade! Oh, you missed! Take this, Kamehameha! Come!